Uh, let's see where I go with this. All right, so we have to dispose of this condensate. We want it to go down the drain, but it's, it's fairly acidic. Uh, so we'll, we'll let it go through a bed of uh, limestone is popular, but magnesium hydroxide, if you've, uh, one of the, the national condensate neutralizer manufacturers is JJM Boilerworks, whom we also represent. And he's got a nice white paper about why magnesium hydroxide works a lot better than calcium carbonate or limestone tablets. Limestone's easier to get, but magnesium hydroxide is it's a, it's a pretty cool picture with it's a, it's a whole other presentation. Uh, so I don't want to quite go there, but so we'll bring our condensate in at a, um, excuse me, we'll bring our condensate in at a lower point. It fills this cylinder, it gets its rinse time on the pellets, and then as it builds up to the level, then it can go out our drain safely. It's neutralized pH back closer to seven, where it can go down the drain safely. You have, that. you have to refill this aggregate or the in, what's inside, and a lot of um, um, go ahead, go ahead. You have a question? Let me, okay, thanks. Um, this clear tube helps us see when, there's a, when it's depleted. So yes, this will deplete over time. A question is, well, how often do you have to do that? How much condensate are we making? And there's a lot of factors that affect that. So yes, you have to replace what's inside. You can replace the whole tube, it's pretty simple, or you can disconnect the tube, pull the caps, fill it, and now what JGM is working on is um, uh, kind of like a, in your dishwasher, instead of putting in liquid or powder, you put a packet you just stick a packet in. Well, now they have packets where you lift the top lid of this square tube, if you will, and you lay the pa packets of, of uh, aggregate inside. Go ahead. For a non-connecting boiler, when you start up, you have some condensate. So if those fall back into the boiler, do you need to provide a drain for it? It's an excellent question. So there's two places. That, did everybody hear the question? Would you like me to repeat the question? The question was about a non-condensing boiler does produce some condensate. Do we have to deal with that? Uh, I'll, I'll answer it this way. Condensate forms in two places of a boiler. In the boiler itself, based on the combustion process uh, and the cold water creating the condensate. And in the boiler stack, we can produce quite a lot of condensate in a boiler stack without having a condensing boiler, even at 180, 160 degrees. The reason that is, is because burners now have modulation, well they have for three or four decades, but uh, the burner can turn down, it can modulate from full firing rate, and the typical turn down is five or six to one ratio, so a two million BTU boiler can modulate down to 400,000 BTUs quite readily. In California that's very good because most of the time we don't need our full boiler's capacity. We design for, in LA we design for 35 degrees F, for our heating, is it similar up here or is it lower? Is it 30 degrees? A little bit lower? Okay, so how, how many days a year do we see that coldest temperature to require our maximum boiler? Very few days a year. So as the burner turns down, our stack size doesn't modulate. If we have a 12 inch stack and we're only putting 400,000 BTUs into it, there's enough stack surface area to cool those gases below dew point. And when that happens, we get condensate. So you may see a condensate neutralizer just to handle the stack condensate on a modulating boiler. Did I wrap myself around to your answer or is there still a question looming? So sometimes, yes, a non-condensing boiler may need. I still haven't read a single code that says this is required, but they're, they're 100 bucks and it's obviously good engineering practice to not put acid down our drains. So, I, I, like I said, I still haven't seen a code, but let's just use condensate neutralizers because it's the right thing to do. And then maybe somebody doesn't have to, well, he didn't spend 100 bucks on his, so now we have to govern the whole world based on this one moron. So, we don't want to be that moron, do we? No, we don't. Uh, cool with that? Good answer? Yeah, right? Great. 